remember taking an image that you wanted to use for print and uh, printed it out professionally sent it to the printer and you felt as though that the color quality really wasn't good a lot of times you might have had it set on the wrong style which is or the wrong mode which is RGB uh, my image is here on RGB I'm gonna go to image and go to mode you see it's in RGB 8 scale um, 8 8 bits 8 bits channel 16 bit channel or 32 bit channel um, what you need for print is going to be CMYK and you need your DPI at 300 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to a new image and I already got the parameters set right here as far as the, the width and the height the resolution this right here never matters unless you're printing so I'm gonna change this right here is where you're gonna change your DPI and your CMYK is going to be for print right over in here okay um, you can change the bit right here to 16 if you decide you want to but the 8 works just as well um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK and it's gonna create me a new um, canvas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this image right here and I'm just gonna drag this image right over to here and it says the target document has a different depth on the source of the document this may result in lower and you know pretty much it's just letting you know that it's going from an RGB over here to it's going to go over to the CMYK and you notice like right here in the forehead on the child if you can see that within the video here it looks a little bit different especially in the shirt there you can see a little bit of a difference it looks washed out here it looks more pronounced here in this this uh, image right here now the last thing you want to do and make sure uh, in reference to your uh, uh, print version that you're going to print professionally with a professional printer um, if you're using just your home printer really doesn't matter all that much but this one right here one last thing you want to do I'm using a tool called guide guide you can download it for free um, I'll put the link below is guide guide.me and I'm just going to set this right here in reference to uh, 20 by 20 by 20 and yes you guessed it by 20 and right, what this is going to do is it's going to pretty much create a half inch bleed. Um, you need it within an inch or a half inch, and you can see right in here, this part right here might get cut off in the print within the guides right there. So if you want to resize this image just a little bit, I always suggest going over to a uh, smart object, which is already there for the images showing you there that it's a smart image. I'm going to hit Command T. You know, you get the cross wires when you know you're dealing with a smart image. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit right there. Not going to break those guides there. Hit Enter. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the background with white. So, I hit Shift Delete to bring my fill dialog box up. I'm going to hit white there. It doesn't necessarily matter what color that you decide you want to put back there or even if you want to adjust the image size right there. But you know this is the image right here that's going to print very well I got all this hair in there got a little bit of his arm that's going to be cut off which is okay but you can see the difference here and this is how you easily quickly create a CMYK uh, print 300 DPI image in Photoshop um, going from pixels right over to print alright give it a try let me know how effective you have been in reference to what you learned from this video Thank you. Goodbye now.